Welcome back to the Sports Mike Zone. We turn our attention now to the World of Motorsport 2019 American Rallycross champion Fraser McConnell will join the X44 Vida Carbon Racing, the Extreme E team for, uh, well, it was founded by the seven time Formula One champion Sir Lewis Hamilton. McConnell, the only Jamaican to claim a supercar victory in the Rallycross, uh, the Nordic Event Championship, will have season two winner of the Extreme E Championship, Christina Gutierrez as his race partner, the Extreme E Championship, an off-road racing series using electric SUVs to race in remote parts of the world to raise awareness for some aspects of climate change. Now, the championship also promotes gender equality and mandates all teams to consist of a female and male driver who will share equally the driving duties. The 24-year-old McConnell joins us now as he embarks on an exciting stage in his rally driving career. Uh, Fraser, welcome again to the Sports Max Zone. We've had you, on, had you on so many times. Now, before I talk about this new venture that you're embarking on, I need to backpedal a bit because uh, I think it was back in January, I saw where you were racing in Canada, Montreal and Calgary on ice, winning qualifying, I think fourth in both events. But how does a Jamaican race against people on ice with... Um, which is unfamiliar racing for you, and and do so well. It's it's phenomenal, really. No, the ice race. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, the ice racing with Nitro was uh, a real eye opener for the comp competition out there. You know, we first time competing on ice, and you know, right out the gates, we we, we brought the heat, um, <laughs> and you know, took the top qualifier in both in both ice events, which was incredible. Yeah, I, I know that, I gather that you did some preparation though because having not raced on ice before and in such a high quality competition, you had a brief first stop in Finland just to get the feel of what ice racing felt like? Yeah, for sure. I went up to Finland and um, my previous engineer from last year, uh, he's from Finland and, you know, helped me get uh, a link to go up there and, you know, drive some cars on ice because, you know, without being able to do that, it's going into a, to a fight with no practice basically going to a pipeline so yeah um we're we're sitting well in the championship then and still now yeah. um because you know preparation is always is always key yeah well fraser we always knew you were gifted but that story is is phenomenal for real so let's now get to the uh, x44 vida carbon event that you are now preparing for you're in saudi arabia as you talk to us how how has practice gone for that and what can you tell us about this latest signing with lewis hamilton's team no, signing for X44 Vida Carbon is, you know, a dream come true. It's, it's driving for Lewis Hamilton, you know, not many people can say that they've, they do that or have done that. Um, and, you know, X44 is ab about, you know, putting Lewis's, um, you know, principles and, and, you know, his mission and providing people with opportunity to go out there and, you know, prove their talents. And, you know, thankfully, he, he's chosen me. You know, we've worked very hard to get to this point. Um, and, you know, now they're giving me the shot to go out there and, you know, stick it to the big boys. Yeah, your partner, Cristina Gutierrez, uh, a Spanish driver, I think, was part of season two and has some experience. How do you feel about her as your partner? Oh, she's a fantastic driver. She was part of the team from season one, actually. So this is her third year. Um, I'm joining the team as the as a new guy. And, um, you know, it's, it's incredible to see what Extreme has done with, like you said earlier, the, the gender equality. Um, in season one, you know, there was a really big gap between the girls and the guys. Um, and now you can look at the, if, if you see a car driving, it's hard to tell whether it's the guy or the girl in the car. So, um, you know, re they've really stepped up to the plate and it's it's a full team effort to mm -hmm. have your car placed in, in a good position. You know, it's, it's not just up to one person. Yeah. Uh, for viewers unfamiliar with this uh, series now, Fraser, the Extreme E Championship, an off-road series, uh, what can you uh, tell our, our viewers about this? Well, it's all electric. All the cars are the exact same, uh, built from Spark, uh, a company in France. And yeah, like you said, it's, every team has one male and one female. Um, we come into the pits to do what they call the switch zone. Whereas, you know, you have 45 seconds to change, uh, change the driver. So, you know, unclip the belt, um, come out the car, the next driver goes in, uh, strap up, get ready to go. And, you know, when that 45 second mark hits, you're off racing again. So it's 
a much more dynamic racing series as opposed to just getting the green light and racing until the checkered flag. Um, you know, many things can go wrong during that switch period, um, and that's something we've been practicing on. So tomorrow we'll get the the real taste of what extreme is like, and you know, having someone as experienced as Christina to, to team up with me is giving me a lot of confidence. Okay, so in Saudi Arabia, the competition will be Saturday, Sunday. Is it qualifying Saturday and the main event Sunday? It's two full uh, separate different races. So yeah. tomorrow we have um, Q1, Q2, and then to the final. So, yes. um, you know, you really need to perform in those two qualifying heats to, to give us a chance to make it to the final. And um, same thing again on Sunday. Yeah, and how do you feel about what would have happened here on Friday as you get ready for the weekend's action? Well, it's um, almost 11 o'clock p.m. where I am now, so we've done um, testing for today. Uh, it was free practice one and free practice two. Uh, so, you know, not a lot of driving. Um, you know, these cars travel so far over the world. Um, and, you know, we have to make the whole, the whole show happen in a limited amount of time. So today was free practice one and two. Uh, first practice went really well. Second practice, we found some issues with the car. They had a, a accident in the final event last year. So, you know, we rebuilt some stuff, and you know, that's what practice is for to find those little uh, wrinkles that you need to iron out in in these critical times. Yeah, uh, Fraser, what can you say about your opposition that you'll face over the weekend here in Saudi Arabia? Because um, it is going to be a high class field. We know that. Would it be that you're facing? drivers who you would have faced in, in rallycross or any previous competition that you were in? For well, sure, there are some, you know, some of the top guys in the world there. There's Jan Christopherson, who, you know, I've been racing for the last two years. Well, you know, not last year, but the previous two years in um, rallycross in Europe. Uh, there's the two Hansen brothers. There's, um, you know, teams, the likes of uh, McLaren, who has Tana Faust. Um, uh, Dakar, two-time Dakar champion, NASA. So, you know, it's, it's a really stacked field with a bunch of experienced um, guys and girls. Uh, um, but, you know, although I'm new, they, they don't have the fire like me. So I'm going to go out and give them the fight. <laughs> yeah, and I, I gather when I look at the coverage, Fraser, I see where the commentators and the reporters and the interviewers seem to enjoy talking to you. Yeah, it, it looks that way. Um, you know, it's, it's part of the game and, you know, you can't just be fast you have to you know be friendly with the camera and you know thankfully it, it is um, not too much of a struggle yeah is there a huge transition or an adjustment that you would have had to make now being in saudi arabia coming from your last competitive action in calgary mm. and quebec where obviously the temperatures are hugely different yeah down here it's, it's called the desert x3 yeah uh, so we're racing in the desert uh the last race i was in uh um, you know, minus 10 at night, it, mm. ice, ice rink. So, you know, quite polar opposites, but uh, still, you know, going as fast as we can. And, you know, the, the time difference as well, you have to adapt to that. So a lot of moving parts to, to make, this, make this thing happen. Um, but, you know, just, just having, every time I look in the mirror and see the X44 logo on the shirt and the hat, it, you know, it gives me a lot of, of uh, um, confidence to go out there and represent. More power to you, Fraser, and uh, all the best for the weekend in the Desert x in Saudi Arabia, and uh, all the power coming from the Caribbean supporting you as you take on this latest assignment. Good luck, man. Yeah, man. Always. Big up. All right. Fraser McConnell there. Uh, back with more on the Sportsman Zone after this. Stay with Sportsmax on YouTube and follow us on all social pages for updates, news and entertainment.